Here's the concept for today. We have a plots in the Minecraft server. What we're gonna do is select a random topic using wheels. Once we have the random topic, let's say it's, I don't know, sexy Waluigi as an example. Once we have our topic, then 25 people will have 10 minutes to build that topic. After the 10 minutes are complete and the builds are up, you, Twitch chat, will vote on who is the best build in the whole plot. What I'm thinking is that we get two different wheels. One is adjectives and one is nouns. And we combine the two wheels and that gives us the topic for our build battle. Topic number one, the adjective is... <laughs> okay. Our first build is going to be a sad and depressed this. Come on, Russia. The first topic, a sad and depressed <laughs> Eiffel Tower. 10 minutes to build a sad and depressed Eiffel Tower. Three, two, one, live. You have 10 minutes. Go, 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 go. And Toriax, I like what you're doing so far. This doesn't seem sad and depressed quite yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. Okay, this is looking pretty sad and depressed. I like what you're doing, Albacat. As long as there's plausible deniability that it is not a penis and it is the Eiffel Tower for when Jeff Bezos personally kicks in my door with a SWAT team and asks me why I'm not banned yet, then we're fine. Just make it at least look like the Eiffel Tower. So far, everybody's just kind of building their, uh, the base to hold the shaft of the Eiffel Tower. Six minutes and 50 seconds. We will be judging the Eiffel Tower on two factors. Three, one, creativity. Two, Eiffel Towerness. And three, raw depression. Five minutes left. Oh, this is, <laughs> this looks pretty depressed. <laughs> I love these. This is not going to be an easy vote. What I'm thinking is we do we do rounds like this, right? Where we have 25 people. You guys vote on the top two, and those guys have qualified for the finals. So we'll do four qualifications, and then the 10 people who have qualified, or eight, or whatever it is, then we do one round of just them. I like that this one is just straight up upside down. It's really great. Are you doing redstone? Oh my god, that's insane! You've only got two and a half minutes, Michael. I think you have the most fleshed out, well-designed structure, but you've only got two minutes to get the shaft in. It's, it's more of a rocket ship. <laughs> I like that he's sitting. Three, two, one, and finish! Disable building! And now, as I tour through the builds, check off the ones that you want to vote, right? Beautiful. Beautiful Eiffel Tower. I love the, the massive flowing tears. One dash two, the upside down Eiffel Tower by Vlatl. This is one dash three. Oh, he's so sad looking. One dash five by Mr. Mordreus. The big cartoon eyes, the single teardrop. Two dash five, and you'll notice here, we even have um, a clarification. An upside down Eiffel Tower with dark metal. Infernex, absolutely flooding with tears. I believe this is the only redstone contraption. Very creative, very cool. Very depressed. He's small and he's cute and he's cross-eyed chicken man. The lava of depression has just erupted out of it. The animated French flag sobbing violently <laughs> into the ground. This is a huge Eiffel Tower with a massive base extending across the entire square, which then droops sadly. Wooden Eiffel Tower stretching up into the sky with huge rivers of water flowing down. These were awesome, you guys. All right, get your last votes in. Once again, here's the straw poll. Who are our finalists? Two, four, five, two, and three, two. Man. Build number two. Let's get our adjective. Bam. Is it gonna be hot or cheesy? We 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 have hot, muscular, and sexy. Probably a little bit of overlap there, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> our new topic is set. Let's just, you know what, let's get some inspiration here. I feel like maybe we just need to okay, so chicken nuggets. Because I feel like there's a couple options. You could go for just the classic chicken nuggets. You could go for the McDonald's box. You could even go for dino nuggets. The world is your oyster, as long as they are hot. Okay, uh, hey, we're gonna restart the server to do this next, if you wanna take a bathroom break. Yeah, I'll do some hold music. Please hold. Aha, server down. <laughs> I like that you put server down <laughs> panic. <laughs> In the meantime, we can uh, while we have this whole music, go music going, we'll just look at Dino Nuggets. <laughs> this is how I want streaming to be played. Just scrolling through Dino Nuggets, listening to smooth jazz. Hey, thanks for coming to the stream, everybody. Please hold. My viewership has gone up. My viewership has gone up since we switched to Dino Nuggets and Jazz. 
Yeah, if you want to grow your Twitch channel, you, you need two things. Thing number one, smooth jazz. Thing number two, dino nuggets. Um, category, I'm wondering if there's a category dino nugget. Oh, it won't let me change the stream category to dino nuggets. Okay, dino, dino crisis. <laughs> All right, we're, we're Dino Crisis stream now. Uh, should I try joining the Minecraft? Are people in? Imagine a new viewer coming in who just wants Dino Crisis. Wait, wait, hold on. The real question, are we... I need to actually look. Are we the number one streamer in the Dino Crisis strategy? Categories. Okay, I want game. Dino Crisis. Are we the number one viewer? <laughs> top three, baby. Oh, feels good to be on top! Wait, why is it looping over and over? Wait, why is it looping over and over? Oh, because I'm watching. Okay. Wait, but why is it doing that one loop? I only did that one time. Shouldn't it be stopping? Wait, but why is it doing that one loop? I only did that one time. Shouldn't it be stopping? Uh. Please hold. Raid one. I mean, I can fix things now. Streamers at the end. So really, hold on. I need to get an infinite loop of. Congrats, Doug. You've broken reality. I need to get a loop of the Dino Nugget. So I go here and then I. Flip here. What is going on? We're playing uh, Minecraft. Anyways, oh, this is good. Huh? Anyways, hey, uh, oh, this is are we? Are we bad with the Minecraft server? Please hold. We bad with the Minecraft server. Please hold. We appear to be having some difficult difficulties. So, just. Uh, Please hold. What a terrible day to have ears. No, 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 no. it's fine. <laughs> we could just actually play Dino Crisis. <laughs> it's just such a saturated category. I don't want to play the game that everybody else is playing. I don't own the game Dino Crisis. I don't know. Where do you buy Dino Crisis? How much is it on Amazon? $150. Or I could just buy the official Prima strategy guide. Yeah, let's. Let's look at the reviews. This book told me the information that I needed to know to be successful at the Dino Crisis game and told me what options I had to look forward to without telling me what options I needed to take. Michael Bertolini really sincerely loved this book. Paid reviews. Do you think Dino Crisis paid off Michael Bertolini? Nothing like wrapping up quick and jumping into a Doug Doug stream. Yeah, we're uh we're playing Minecraft. Check GameStop. I mean, what are you what are you expecting here? That I would like turn off the stream and go to GameStop? And by Dino Crisis. Uh, hi there. I was wondering if you guys have Dino Crisis for the PS1. Only through the website. Okay. Um, any any chance, because I know there's sequels to Dino Crisis that I was on PlayStation 2. Any chance play PlayStation 2 or is that still too old? Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for the help. GameStop does not have Dino Crisis for the PlayStation 1. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's back up. Let us in! I'm in! Oh, I am in. Everybody in this server, you have 10 minutes to build hot chicken nuggets. Three, two, one, bam, go! So far, I like what Superminer's doing. One chicken nugget using spider web for steam. Very smart, very smart. Ooh, looks like maybe we have a little to-go cart here. Developing an entire chicken. I like it. Whoa, so you're doing the whole fryer. My God, Toasty Waffles. What is this gonna turn into? Oh, is it a frying pan? Okay, this has got some variety, dude. Five and a half minutes. Okay, well, this is clearly the Dino Nug. Damn, the whole fryer. Chicken nugs. <laughs> Why is it a Santa dinosaur? Three, two, one. Done, my friends. Building is complete. And that means that we are now ready to review the contestants. Hot Santa Claus dinosaur, a fall chicken looking into the fryer. Levitator's chicken. You've got this nuggathon right here. The fryer, the two bins, the smoke coming off with the spider web, the nuggies, the plate over here full. You've got a to-go box, hybrid puma with the hot sauce on the side. I like that, nice touch. This is just a butt. Whoa, toasty waffles. The detail on this, crazy. You see the smoke flinging around, or this is more of an oven, right? An oven top? Simply insane. Oh, and you're putting in the nuggies into the oven. Whoa, that's crazy. Distributing the nuggies all over the plate. Now this one went hard on the dinosaur concept. The ketchup bottle has fallen over and is spilling ketchup all over the whole plot. This buff ass chicken. And it is indeed in a, like first off it has a six pack. And secondly, it is in a McDonald's box. Another beautiful, very cute I might add. The hot sauce pouring down. And it looks like this nugget 
even is wearing a jock strap. A big ass frying pan, Zelsus's nuggies steaming into the air. Vote for any that you would like to qualify in the top three receiving votes. We'll move on to our finale. Our winners are 4 2, 3 4, and 1 3. Let's play the next round. That is our adjective. Our noun. Get to Ikea! Get to Ikea! So do we just veto this and make it muscular Ikea? Okay. The next topic, muscular Ikea. Three, two, one. Come on! That's looking penile. Why doesn't every Ikea uh, stand atop two tiny, adorable little legs? Ooh, we've got Ikea, what might be some buff muscles on the side, love it. Curious where this turns into. I'm liking what's going on here. Oh my God, those are huge. Damn, Code, you're going for glass windows? Nuts. Five more minutes, we're starting to see some Ikeas come together. We see the building here with the sign on top. This gigantic Ikea, man. I like what you're doing with these nipples. All right, I'm loving where this is going. Is this a moose? Meatball. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Note the very disappointing absence of nipples. Stop building, stop building, stop building. You are done, you are done, you are done. There are 25 options. You can vote for as many as you would like. Big Ikea sign in the back, the flex. And let the record show, nipples. Flexing with the barbells. The Ikea building by code. Ikea flexing again, 2-2. Two -two. Wow, you got like a flag in there. That's crazy. Gigantic Ikea man. 2-5. The Ikea ripping the target sign in half. Oh, dude, you pulled it out. My God. Some pixel art by Levitator. Very cool. I love it. He's even got a creeper in his... God damn it. This is the entirety of his build right here. An Ikea man. A lot of people um, throwing snowballs at the nipples. Ikea, I love the bold stroke holding up the sign above. Barn 16. Barn has a sign. Fuel. Read all of these signs. God damn it. No, four dash five. Look at that bicep, very beautiful. This is our little Ikea snowman guy. The two barbells on the sides and number five dash five by Iron Eagle, a meatball flexing. Those are your options. What builds win? Congratulations to our top three. Three, one, two, five, and four, three. We're gonna do one more qualifier and then we'll do the finals where all the people who have won these rounds do a single build together. Number one. Oh, no, we're going for spooky. The next topic is a spooky... Spooky Sonic. Doug, I see you. Yes, I'm looking at chat. We need this to be spooky. Yes, look at the sky. Oh, fuck. Bam. You're alive. 10 minutes. Oh yeah, that's definitely Sonic. Oh my God, Slayer's going for the whole foot. Greater bird digging down, I like it. Whoa, okay, he's going for the going for the boots as well here. I see the eyeballs coming in here, the red. So far, it's mostly about recreating Sonic's body. The question is gonna be, in the remaining six minutes, how do they incorporate spookiness into it? This is uh, more like a pencil Sonic. All right, this is an interesting build. I don't know what you're going for yet. Oh my God, are you going for the it? That's insane. Spoodle, that better not be a Sonic wiener. This is fucking horrifying, Toasty Waffles. <laughs> How the fuck did you do this in six and a half minutes? Oh, I like the fire in his eyes. That's sick, Iron Eagle. Cheese is cool, going for the Sonic pixel art. You've got two minutes left. It's actually kind of sick right now when, it, when it's like sunset. This is awesome. Three, two, one, you are done. We are going to review these 25 entries. The it scene. Sonic reaching out through the sewer. Very, very, very... S oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. We're good, we're good, we're good. The helicopter, wow. The whole helicopter, helicopter landing. Kit Kat Finn with Sonic's body parts falling off. Damn, that's spooky. And the spookiest. I give up. Nothing is spookier than giving up. Sonic from Quick Sparse. I just peed a little from that one. Yeah, look, there's a lot of pee in the stream, okay? A lot of people peeing themselves on the stream. Don't feel embarrassed, it's very spooky. The Sonic face from the Sonic movie. <laughs> These are very spooky. Cute little bear ears, the red eyes, the stomach ripped out like a zombie. Oh, you, oh dude, I didn't know where you're going with this, cheese is cool. I love that it's 2D except for the blood, which like spurts out, very cool. Tree Boy Sonic with the Gaping open irises, creepy nipples, sonic head. And the scariest part, he's been stabbed in the forehead with signs. You must read every single sign, Doug. And I don't see any other signs, so I think I'm all ready to go. That was 3-5, very spooky. Whoa, this one's awesome. Rip Sonic, 
this crazy, crazy build for three by Toasty Waffles. Pia Macro's gigantic Teal Sonic. It's Sanic, but spooky. And the final, 5-5. Fire in his eyes and a fucking gun. Ladies and gentlemen, these are some excellent Sonics. I am extremely impressed, especially for how little penises there are. All right, so let us now vote. Here are your options. Who wins at the top three? One, one, four, three, and three, five. Wait, 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 hold on. Three, five, and four, two are tied. They're literally tied. We have 12 finalists. Let us find the final topic. Let's get a really good adjective. Dead. What we could do is we could add a second adjective. So it could be like a dead, cheesy Barack Obama. <laughs> Our second adjective is... Oh, go for sexy. A dead, sexy something. Uh-oh. <laughs> dead. Sexy Shrek! It won't be easy, but creating true art never is. All right, so there's two ver there's two things you can do here. If you build a gigantic Shrek penis, either one, plausible deniability, please either make it seem like it's possible. Oh, sorry, I need to get out of here. Either make it seem realistic that it's not a penis so that I can deny it, or make sure there's a story involved so that I can review the penis for as long as it progresses the story. If you do one of those two things, theoretically, I don't lose my job, <laughs> but it's worth it, right? What's the point of having a job like a streamer if you're not even gonna risk it with Shrek's dead sexy cock? 15 minutes. At the end, you will judge and the top voted build will become a gamer god and a VIP in this channel. Build the best dead sexy Shrek of your lives in three, Two, one, go! We have from Dan Cal what looks like it might be a bed. Very dead. Looking very dead here. What looks like it might be a bikini on Shrek. Very, very sexy. Or dead. Or both. Is this a giant sign? Large build coming in here from Waffles. Looks like maybe a skeleton with a bikini. It looks like this might be a Shrek face that is being built out right now. We're seeing a bed develop over here. This is literally just Shrek with a bikini over his normal clothing. Last five minutes, everybody! Oh, we got the great, wow. Very nice with the flowers, very creative touch there. Oh, you added the top hat, very well done, very sexy. Why, why are the nipples so big? It's part of the story. There's so many, these are all so good. You've got 30 seconds. Oh, no, you don't, sorry. You got an extra 30 seconds. Three, two, one. I was so engrossed in the dead, sexy Shreks. Once I review all of the builds, then you guys will vote on who wins. The first build, Shrek laying down slain. He's also got a pink thong. There's a bulge here, but I think that's part of the story. Levitator with the beautiful 2D artwork. Shrek butt barn. This is Iron Eagle's creation. Notice that there's a sensor bar over his penis. Wow. Gigantic. Dead. Sexy. And most of all, Shrek. It says, happily ever after. After ever happily. Is it by far the worst and laziest build here? Or is it the most beautiful? It's probably the laziest. It's probably the, the first one. This Shrek is dead as all hell. He's wearing his sexy bikini. The skeleton in a sexy, seductive, dead pose. Another skeleton bikini Shrek. This is poking out from underneath Shrek, but it's not a dick, really. Family, this is still a family friendly. It was donkey. A whole story is told here. Again, not a penis. This is a sword. And finally, the sexiest, deadest Shrek of them all. Barn 16 sign with so many signs. I love signs. Sign is best. What's the deal with signs? Signs are so cool. I am not going to read all these, Barn. They all just say sign. These are your options. Good luck, everybody. The deadest, the sexiest, the shrekiest build of all day is Barn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present the best. Build ever. Um, I will, I will go look at number two because that should probably win. Toasty waffles, yeah, toasty waffles with the gigantic Shrek. I might need to add two. 
I might make barn and toasty waffles with. Look at those nipples. Very well played, everybody. Toasty 2020. Bra? Or those gigantic nipples?